Okay, so against Warrior, we're fine with just keeping Sorcerer's Apprentice here. Right? I think that's good. It's not bad. Yeah, so this is... It's a fine hand. It's not great. It's not bad, though. If we draw into another minion, it's great. Like a Mana Worm or a Flame Waker. Yeah, so we'll probably just hold this. Pass this turn. Skip turn two, probably. Turn three, so, uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice and Frostbolt. Uh, yeah, TS Rhodes, I'm a student, man. Uh, right now I'm studying finance, dude. And career ideas, uh, I'd like to go into management consulting. That's my idea right now, dude. It's the game plan for now. So we're just gonna ping face and pass. Seems fine. Again, this hand filled with removal isn't really what we want here. But we do have the opportunity to draw in some more cards next turn. Yeah, more removal. So we are just gonna source his apprentice into Frostbolt here. Deny the weapon, force him to have a slammer bash to deal with this. I think we're okay with that. Yeah, damn, that was the wrong one. Okay, so we did a bash. We can just, uh, do we want to coin Azure Drake? Honestly, I think it's fine here. If he has shield slam, we're in a bad spot because he can just armor up and then shield slam. Arcane Insulate can't really draw us into anything good this turn. But we could just do that, then use Azure Drake coin, Arcane Blast, and clear anything he plays a turn after. But again, I think this is just too slow. Another turn of just gaining no tempo is not good. We want to force him to deal with our board here. Yeah, man, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to. Uh, th what did you choose, dude? As far as your career path went. Okay, so the shield slime comes up. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate. But again, he'll probably just pass. Oh, so we're playing against the dragon list. Interesting. Okay, so we can just... We play both of these minions, right? So that's three mana. Uh, then we Forgotten Torch for two. Next turn we're looking to draw then? Seems okay. Yeah, alternatively, you could double Arcane Blast and then draw. I prefer to do this, though. Saving these is quite valuable if we draw into Spell Power minions. Then we're just going to pass. It's fine. It seems like he doesn't have the Win Axe. Oh, no. He did get it. Okay. So, yeah. Again, going back to the turn three play, the Sorcerer's Apprentice into the Frostbolt face. Again, that is exactly why we deny it. He did have that card in his starting hand. So, there was a reason for doing that. But here we're just going to do this. Mana Worm. Yeah, we're going to Frostbolt face because we are going to Harrison Jones next turn. Definitely going to do it right now. Also gets rid of his armor, so second shield slam doesn't clear the 4-3. <clears throat> this is a little bit unfortunate because we can't actually Harrison, Blood Mage, Thalnos, and Arcane Blast the 4-3 uh, the all at the same time. But uh, I think we're fine with using double arcane blast here, honestly. Drawing drawing seems good. Yeah. Cabal is a good card against this deck. So again, we're gonna have a six-three uh, mana worm. Very very comparable to a card like Tunnel Trog right now, just snowballing really fast. Contracting is pretty cool, man. Yeah, Criminal Justice, it's alright. I have a few friends in it right now. Doesn't seem that bad. Just depends if you're interested in that kind of a field, though. And I mean, it's hard to figure out when you're an undergrad, right? Like, for all I know, I could uh, get into the business world, get a job in management consulting, and absolutely hate it. Have no interest in it. It's really hard to tell. I think here we just want to dump our hand with the uh, Flame Maker Thalnos and Double Arcane Missiles. Clear this. Go face, push a lot of damage. It does play into Brawl pretty hard. That's the only consideration. I think we're okay doing it though. Fine with taking a little bit of risk here. Now, do we even want to use the second one? It's never going to be this good. We're never going to get 6 damage out of this one mana spell here. So I think we're fine with putting him at 15. Again, you'd prefer to be able to clear minions with that, but... 
A one mana fireball is just too good to pass up. Okay, so that was actually a very favorable bra uh, brawl for him. But I think we're fine with just using Cabal straight away. Okay, Arcane Blast, ping is a clear. Arcane Blast, attack in, see what we draw. Arcane Intellect's good. We will use that next turn though. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate that we didn't get any burn off of that. But it's still okay. Ysera is pretty big. Okay, so we are looking for second Cabal to so get something like a Polymorph off of it. Okay, so we do need a draw now. Hey PNT, thanks for the follow man, appreciate it dude. Okay, so we're fine with just Azure Draking then. Assuming he didn't get um, Ysera Awakens, we're in an okay spot here. As we do have the Mirror Image to follow up with. But the Flame Strike and the Blizzard are not too good in this matchup. Spellbender could be good, but I assume he's going to use the second Shield Slam right now with that, right? Okay, Emerald Drake's fine. Not too worried about that. So we may Blizzard this turn. We're just going to see what we draw first. Fireball is actually pretty good, but I think we're just going to call Sorcerer. Flame Strike would clear this actually, so maybe that's better. So we can Cult Sorcerer, Blizzard, 4 damage, and then follow up with Flame Strike next turn. Again, it means he gets another card off of Ysera. So it's not too, too great. But assuming he doesn't get Ysera Awakens, we're happy. So I think this play is okay. It develops a board. Let me just go face here. We're just looking to push and draw into one of our, our second fireball, sorry, or a roaring torch here. And hey, elements, man. Uh, I don't have too many tips, dude, for uh, for rogue. I did try the Gook Boy less as well, man. I actually tried it on stream. I went like one in three, then I stopped playing it, man. But um, I don't think Miracle Rogue's that bad if you play a lot of games with it, dude. You just have to understand the play. Um, <clears throat> sorry, the play style. And it's usually the same in any game. You're just trying to survive until you have your gadgets in. And then went off of cycling your whole deck. Or you're either looking to play aggressively, use cold blood on your minions, get a big Van Cleef out, then conceal your board. And get a lot of damage over two turns, I believe. Uh, I do think Trump actually just put a video out based on that, um, based on that exact list though. So maybe check that out. Uh, I saw it on Reddit. I didn't personally watch it, so I don't know too much about it. But I know he did do Trump's teachings. And I assume it's a pretty good video if it's produced by him. So, I think for rogue tips, you should check that one out. And hey, agent enthusiast, dude. What's up, man? Successful two days of ranking. That's pretty good, man. Or, uh, are you higher than four, man? You higher than us, dude? If you are, feels good, man, for you. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so if we flame strike, we have to ping. So, we're going to mana worm. Flame strike. We could clear a Sarah, but we really care about the face damage more. Again, that's not too great of a turn. And getting the Ysera value is pretty bad. And again, we are trying to dodge the um, the Ysera Awakens yet again. Rank 2 3 stars is pretty good, man. Definitely really good. Congrats, dude. Okay. So 10 5 4 3. That's a very, very annoying board to deal with right now. Second Fireball is pretty big. Fireball, Fireball face. That's 12 damage. Plus 4, 16. How low is he then? We can't. Do we have to deal with that? He'll trade, right? It seems very, very questionable to do this. But I think it's our best chance at winning. We have a number of good draws. Out of 6 cards, Yogg, Cabalus, and Roaring Torch are all great draws here. So I think we do have to do this. Unless he can armor up Jessica armor up, Roaring Torch should be lethal. Beat Raynad, man. That's always fun, dude. 
Especially if you did get lucky too, because then you know you will probably be on Reddit uh, in one of his highlight videos with him tilting super hard. So that's cool, dude. But yeah, congrats, man. You're pretty close to legend, dude. It's really early in the season too. It's great. Okay, so we do have a 1 out of 6 for lethal right now. Uh, again, a 1 out of 2 for great draws in this scenario. And we can stall again with the ice block. Yeah, so Twilight Guardian makes absolutely no difference here to us. Unfortunate draw there. So we just ice block. We're going to save this in case we do draw the Warring Torch and the 1 damage does matter. So we just ping his face here. Right? Yeah, we ping face, we have to. We can't care about the 10 damage. We use that as well in case he uses a spell on a minion. Like Nightmare to push, for example, it'd be used on our 1 3 instead. Uh, going face could be wrong, TS Rhodes. But my logic is if we push, then we can at least have a chance to win now. Because removing Yusera is just very difficult. And I know the perpetual value from it is a lot, but um, it's only really good in control versus control matchups. Against a deck like ours, cards like Emerald Drake is aren't really going to get too much value. And by putting him low, Ysera Awakens means that he's just going to kill himself, so he can't clear our board with that. So we're happy about that. And with the Ice Block, we're okay with him hitting face with this. It means we at least have two turns left to draw into the cards that we need. And yeah, him not having Jessica here is actually huge. It means that we have a pretty good chance of winning. But again, it is quite draw reliant. Sometimes Smork is the answer. And he, he didn't even pop us, so we do have a few draws now. Feels bad, man. Okay, so we're going to get popped this turn, right? No matter what. So we ping here, he's at 7. Then we do have the Called Sorcerer into Roaring Torch for exact lethal. Assuming he doesn't get Justicar off the top. So we play Mirror Image. Yeah, there's no point in playing Mirror Image here or anything. We ping there, we still get popped, right? Yeah, so we just have to ping his face and pass. And again, we're just hoping to get the Roaring Torch off the top. So 1 and 4 for lethal, assuming he doesn't have any other armor game cards. Is there a chance with Cabalist? I don't think there is with Cabalist anymore. What could we draw? I'm trying to think. Five mana Cabalist and we have a few mana left. So yeah, playing around our win conditions, guys. Feels pretty dirty, but um, yeah, that's how you have to play sometimes. And again, luck is a huge proponent in that. But having a one out of two from six cards with three cards that are all good for us and getting the three cards and drawing one of them is pretty likely. So yeah.